Now we're looking at a multiplication problem. Things are definitely done differently when it comes to multiplying and dividing compared to adding and subtracting. When I see adding and subtracting, I settle into thinking about combining like terms. But when it comes to multiplying and dividing, I have a different thought, and it's, it's not really the technical expression, but I think for multiplying and dividing that outsiders can go together and insiders can go together, but not an outsider with an insider. So that means that when I'm thinking about multiplying, I can definitely do stuff with the 14x and the 2x, because they are both outside of a radical. Those two can definitely be multiplied together under our same rules. So 14x times 2x, multiply the coefficients, 28, and x times x is x squared. And again, when we're multiplying, we're definitely changing the variable, not like when we're combining like terms. So outsider with outsider multiplied together. The insiders, we can multiply those together. The 6x times the 3x, 18x squared. But since they were inside a radical, that product needs to stay inside of a radical. So the first step of our multiplication has taken us to 28x squared times radical 18x squared. Next is to simplify the radical. And you want to start to think about before you say your problem is complete, is every radical simplified? So it's not even really a part of a step for multiplying. I would say it should always be your final thought of a problem, or as you're getting towards the end of a problem, let's start making sure that these radicals are simplified. 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. I could have done that on a tree off to the side there. I would just find 2 and 9, and so on x squared. So there's the pair of x's. I know that I will be taking those out of the radical ASAP. So the pairs of factors, we've got a pair of 3's, we're bringing out one 3. A pair of x's, we're bringing out an x. A 2 that stays inside of the radical. And a 28x squared that was out of the radical already. So the 28x squared is out. Each of these that we brought out, those also need to be multiplied in because now they are outsiders. And now that they're outside of a radical, we're multiplying all these outsiders together. Now, don't be um, concerned about the way that this looks since it's all just being multiplied together, no adds and subtracts. I can do things in any order. So I can do the 28 times the 3 is, oh boy, 84. And x squared times one more x, there's x to the third with radical 2. So there's our answer, 84x to the third radical 2. Our next multiplication example, you need to, again, train your eyes to observe certain things. And this is where we need to distribute. It's similar to other times where we would have one Number is what we would probably, what we first started seeing. One number right out in front of a set of parentheses with two terms inside. And this we would need to distribute. We would make it 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. That would be the type of multiplication we need to do. So with this one is, again, distribute. So I need to take this 2 radical 10 and multiply it into the set of parentheses. Multiply it once to the 3 radical 5, and again to the radical 2. And understand that when we're thinking about what gets multiplied, we multiply it to each term, each part that is separated by an add or subtract. So I don't want to think that I need to hit the 3, and I need to do something different to hit the radical 5. No, it's you think outsiders with outsiders, insiders with insiders, as we take 2 radical 10 to our first multiplication here, and then our second multiplication after the minus sign back here. Okay, let's do the first one. What I even like to do with these problems is just write out what it is that I'm about to multiply. So with this first distributing move, those are the parts I'm multiplying together. And now I think about outsiders. The 2 times 3 is 6. The 10 times 5 inside the radical is a 50. And very quickly, I'm thinking about, can I simplify this radical 50? Let's make a quick tree on the side. 
50 is 2 times 25. That's 5 times 5. Quick note, doesn't matter how we break it down. So if you want for 5 times 10, that's probably the more natural choice for 50. As long as you break everything down into prime factors, we'll always find the same list. So we'll always find for 50, 2, 1, 2, and 2 fives. That's basically the DNA for the number 50 is 2 times 5 times 5. We'll rewrite that. And to simplify this radical, we're looking for a pair. So there's a pair of fives that we will bring out, and we'll need to multiply to that six. So it's one five that we're bringing out, not two. And that one five times six equals 30. And we still have a two inside the radical. Okay, that was the first multiplication. My second one is going to be this two radical 10 times negative two negative radical 2. I was thinking so much about that negative sign. When it comes to the negative signs, I'm just attaching it to the term right behind it. And what I can even do is, since I'm working so much with insiders and outsiders, that I'd like to see every term have an insider and an outsider. Now, if I don't see that outsider, I know it's a 1. So I'm just like that x, I know it has a coefficient of 1. So a negative 1 radical 2. And I'll do the multiplication. So outside it's a 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And inside the 10 times 2 is radical 20. We can simplify this radical. Our 20 is, let's make the tree. Let's make it up high. 4 times 5. That's 2 times 2 times 5. You do a few of these and you start to have to make fewer and fewer trees, but as long as it's helpful, I'll make it. 2 times 2 times 5. I'm seeing that pair, a pair of 2's that I'll bring out and multiply to our number out front. So I have negative 4 radical 5. So that is simplified. Finally, I want to say if all my radicals are simplified, now do I have any like terms to combine? So the result of the first multiplication was 30 radical 2. And the second one was 4 radical 5. The radicals are simplified, 2 and 5. And they're not like terms. We cannot combine them. So there's our answer to this multiplication.